I'm going to show you guys how to test a relay. The type of relay I'm going to show you guys on is a very common automotive relay. What you see here is you got a coil in it that gets energized and when that coil gets energized it causes contacts to close or open depending on what type of circuit you're using. But here, see if we can find the information as to what type of relay this is. Okay, this is a very common one. Now, as you can see on here, um, the coil is 85 and 86. The, um, there's a normally closed set of contacts and a normally open set of contacts. Basically, you get power at this coil, positive and negative. This coil gets energized, creates a magnetic field, and makes that switch just slam shut, and makes this switch open, and that switch close. So the relay changes states from normally closed to normally open. This is a very common numbering system too. They use this a lot in cars. Uh, 85 and 86 is the coil. 30 is called the common. And then you have 87A, which is your normally closed, and 87, which is your normally open. Basically you have a coil that gets energized and sends power through a switch. Two separate circuits. It would look something like this. Uh, basically you'd have your uh, coil. This would be, uh, I guess, was it 84 or 80? What number? Oh no, sorry, 85 and 86. Doesn't matter how you energize it, you could put power, I mean positive here, positive there, negative here, negative there, doesn't matter, just as long as you have negative and positive on one side, this coil is going to energize. Okay, then on this side, it was uh, 30, which was your common, and that went to a normally closed switch, and then over here was your normally open. Okay, so that's your uh, NC, and this is your NO. So how this works, you usually have like a, a battery up here or something. Battery. And that'll be you know grounded to your frame. You'll have come out, there'll be like a fuse. And it'll come down and power will just wait right here. Very simple. And you may have uh, you may be another fuse. Uh, coming down here, this might be a 10 amp, this might be a 30 amp. A lot of times you'll see relays, you'll have low power controlling high power. Doesn't have to, but you do see that a lot. So, um, let's say, let's, let, let's make this a fuel pump. I'm going to draw a fuel pump circuit, okay? So, let's say this here comes out goes to a motor, fuel pump motor, and then grounds out. So, as of now, we have power just sitting here going through the fuse. There's power, there's positive here, and there's positive there, just waiting for a signal to come and turn this relay on. Usually that signal is uh, in cars nowadays is uh, controlled by a computer that has a little PCM powertrain control module and it has it's just a basically a computer that has a whole bunch of sensors that get gets input and it calculates its input and sends outputs so it's, it's a smart system once it once it gets the necessary triggers it it tells this fuel pump to kick on by sending a ground some of them send ground some of them send uh, power. Uh, if it sends a ground, it's called a low side driver. If it sends, uh, if it sends power, it's called a high side driver. 
but it can do either or, so it doesn't matter. But but it, in this particular circuit, you know, a negative comes, the, the computer controls it, hits here, creates a magnetic field. This switch is a switch like this. This magnetic field energizes and the switch closes. Bam. When that happens, these this one basically opens up and then closes because it slams shut. Boom. And you send, it sends power down to your motor and to ground. And that's it. Simple. And when the PCM tells the relay to, to shut down, it loses this signal. This uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, negative drops out, which de-energizes this coil, which causes the spring in the contact to push this back out, and it opens power to your motor. Very simple, very easy, and you'll see that quite often. Just a simple circuit like that. Anyway, let's get to the actual uh, relay. This here is your coil. This here is your switch. Uh, well, to test your coil, it's easy just to uh, hook up power to it. Put a positive and a negative here. I usually do this out on the car, but since I'm inside, I'm just going to use a 9 volt battery to uh, do this. So I got some test leads here. Um, this is how you test it. Hook up power on there. In there, just lay that down. Take your other leads, hook them up to the coil, and listen for it. You'll hear it click. If it's working, it'll change states. And now listen for it. And like I said, it doesn't matter which side you hook up. It's a it's a simple coil. It doesn't care. It'll work as long as you hook it up to that coil. You'll be fine. Okay. Now, remember I said this is a common thirty. It's the number thirty is the common, and this here is the switch. So what does that mean? Well, I'll show you. Just got a, uh, a voltmeter here. Let me get this in the shot. You can just put that on on ohms. Okay. Mm. Here's my uh, test leads. So you can touch them together. You get continuity. Well, you can check your switch here see which one's normally open and which one's normally closed on the switch side just by you hold that there see how up well, that must be the normally open one oh, yep that's the normally closed one they got continuity now okay now when you energize this coil you, this should open and this will close. They'll change, they'll do a swap. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay, you can see the uh, coils energized now. And last time I had continuity between the common and here. Oops, sorry, I'm blocking the, uh, the meter so you guys can't see what's going on. Sorry. All right, let me try that again. Last time I had I had continuity between here and here. Well, as you can see now it's open. I'm gonna leave that on the common and go here. You can see that that has continuity and it closed. Okay, that means they're touching good continuity. So now we de-energize a coil. I'm gonna de-energize it from this side. Here, switch back. It's open now, so now we should have original continuity between the common and here. 
and we do. Now this should be open. And it is. That's all there is to checking a relay. Real simple.